Welcome to Technique Tuesday. This week, we look at the double under. Similar to doing movements in strict, we have to strip the double under right back to the single under and master this movement. Notice how my body stays straight, I stay in control of the rope, and it's only my wrists that are moving as opposed to my whole arm in circular motions. When using nothing but arms for the double unders, we exert a lot more force and give up a lot of the efficiency that's possible. On the contrary, by bringing our knees up to our chests, we fatigue our core a lot more and we give up a lot of the efficiency that's possible. If we start way back at the single under, just stay in control, keep our bodies nice and straight and flick the rope with our wrists, we can then go into the double under. As the rope passes our feet twice instead of once, we want to increase the height of the double under to double that of the single under. Our recommendation is to go back to the single under, take full control of the movement, control the rope with the flick of the wrist, then moving on to the double under with a higher jump. As always, we really hope this helps.